Eight medications that harm your memory and brain. Did you know that some common medications could be affecting your memory and brain health? Have you ever wondered if the pills you're taking might be causing your memory to fade? What if you could identify these medications and avoid them, potentially improving your quality of life? Recent studies show that memory loss isn't a guaranteed part of getting older, but some medications, especially when taken without proper medical advice, can seriously harm your brain. Why do drugs that seem safe have such dangerous side effects? And how can you protect your brain while treating other health conditions? Research suggests that drugs like proton pump inhibitors, such as omeprazole, and anticholinergics, which are used to treat conditions like Parkinson's disease, may increase the risk of dementia. Are we really aware of these risks? Self-medicating can make these side effects even worse. Stay tuned because the seventh medication on our list is the most dangerous and almost no one knows about it. Aging and dementia. What do we really know? For a long time, people thought that dementia and memory problems were just a normal part of aging. However, recent research has changed this view, showing that memory loss isn't always inevitable as we grow older. Dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, is caused by specific processes that damage the brain, not just by getting older. Studies have found that it's possible to keep your mind sharp and even improve some skills as you age, as long as you manage the risk factors. Several things contribute to brain health as we age, such as eating a balanced diet, staying physically active, keeping your mind and social life engaged, and managing chronic conditions like high blood pressure and diabetes. But there are some lesser known factors that can speed up or worsen memory loss. These include alcohol abuse, smoking, brain injuries, strokes, chronic insomnia, and long-term stress. Nutritional deficiencies, especially in vitamin B12, and psychiatric disorders also play a big role. We've learned a lot about how dementia develops, especially the role of beta myeloid proteins, which form tangles and plaques that damage brain cells. Genetics can also make some people more likely to develop dementia, but your environment and lifestyle choices can greatly influence these risks. Preventing dementia requires a well-rounded approach, including living a healthy lifestyle, managing chronic diseases, and sometimes medical treatments. Ongoing research is looking for new ways to slow down or even prevent dementia. Knowing that memory loss isn't just a normal part of aging can encourage us to take steps to keep our brains healthy throughout our lives. Surprising factors that contribute to memory loss. Memory loss can come from many different sources, not just the usual suspects like aging and diseases such as Alzheimer's. Some unexpected factors also play a big role. Substance abuse, drinking too much alcohol, and smoking tobacco are major contributors. Alcohol can directly damage the brain, while smoking harms blood vessels, affecting brain health. Traumatic brain injuries. Getting hit on the head in accidents or sports can lead to memory problems. These injuries might cause immediate issues or lead to long-term conditions like chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, which affects memory and other brain functions, strokes. A stroke happens when blood flow to the brain is blocked or reduced, causing damage that can affect memory and thinking skills. Sleep issues. Chronic insomnia and other sleep problems can hurt your memory. When you don't get enough sleep, it messes up the process of forming and storing memories, making it hard to remember new information or retrieve old memories. Chronic stress. Ongoing stress releases a hormone called cortisol, which can harm brain areas involved in memory, like the hippocampus. Nutritional deficiencies. Not getting enough of certain nutrients, especially vitamin B12, can lead to memory loss. Vitamin B12 is crucial for nerve health, and a lack of it can cause memory issues and confusion. Psychiatric disorders. Conditions like depression and anxiety also affect memory. Depression can reduce your ability to focus and remember things, while anxiety can make it harder for your brain to process and store information common medications that can damage your memory. Many people are unaware that certain common medications can harm their memory and brain function. While these medications can treat various health issues, they can also have side effects that affect memory and other cognitive abilities. Let's look at how some frequently used drugs can negatively impact the brain. Eight medications that damage memory and the brain. One, omeprazole and its hidden dangers. Omeprazole is a common medication used to treat heartburn and other stomach problems. 
It belongs to a group of drugs called proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, which also includes lanzoprazole, pantoprazole, and esomprazole. While these drugs help reduce stomach acid and provide relief from conditions like reflux, long-term use can be risky for brain health. Studies have shown that using PPIs for a long time can increase the risk of dementia and memory loss. One study found that 10% of people who took omeprazole for over three years experienced memory problems. Another study showed that 33% of patients who used the drug for more than four and a half years reported cognitive issues. The link between PPIs and memory problems might be related to a decrease in vitamin B, 12 absorption, which is crucial for brain health. B12 deficiency can lead to memory and neurological disorders. Additionally, PPIs can change the gut bacteria, which can negatively affect brain function. Omeprazole is a common medication for heartburn and other stomach issues, and is available without a prescription. Because it's so easy to get, many people use it without consulting a doctor. However, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider before starting long-term treatment with this drug. Conditions like gastritis or ulcers should be accurately diagnosed before using omeprazole for extended periods. Generally, you should use omeprazole for only two weeks to three months, depending on your medical condition and any necessary dietary changes. Long-term use of omeprazole can lead to several health problems, including vitamin deficiencies, kidney disease, bone fractures, and a higher risk of respiratory and intestinal infections. Therefore, it's crucial to use omeprazole carefully and under medical supervision to prevent serious complications. 2. Anticholinergics the dark side of popular medications. Anticholinergics are drugs used to treat various conditions such as Parkinson's disease, overactive bladder, and some respiratory issues. They work by blocking acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter important for memory and learning. While effective, these drugs can significantly impact brain health, especially with long-term use. Research shows that anticholinergics can greatly increase the risk of dementia and other cognitive disorders. A study from the University of Washington that followed over 3,500 elderly people for 10 years found that regular use of anticholinergics raised the risk of developing dementia by 54%. This risk grows with the dose and duration of use. Common anticholinergics linked to cognitive problems include scopolamine, mecamilamine, atropine, biperidine, oxybutynin, trihexyphenidyl, and diphenhydramine. These drugs interfere with neuron communication, which can hurt memory and learning. However, some anticholinergics, especially those used via inhalation, like glycopyrrolate, trospium, tolteridine, darifenation, fesoteridine, tiotropium, and eumeclidinium, do not seem to have the same negative effects on cognition. It's important to be cautious with these medications, particularly in older adults, due to their potential impact on memory. Patients and doctors should weigh the risks and benefits, considering alternatives when possible, and using these drugs at the lowest effective dose and for the shortest time. Anticholinergics can also cause other side effects, such as dry mouth, constipation, urinary retention, and blurred vision. Being aware of these risks is essential for maintaining cognitive health and quality of life, especially for older individuals. 3. Corticosteroids. When treatment affects your brain. Corticosteroids are strong medications used to treat conditions like asthma, allergies, and autoimmune diseases. While they are effective, long-term use, especially oral corticosteroids, can have serious effects on mental and cognitive health. Studies have shown that corticosteroids can cause changes in the brain, leading to symptoms like confusion, disorientation, depression, and anxiety. An epidemiological study in the UK that looked at over 500,000 people found that those who used corticosteroids for asthma over long periods had a much higher risk of developing dementia and other mental health issues. In summary, while medications like omeprazole, anticholinergics, and corticosteroids can be useful, it's important to use them cautiously and under medical guidance to avoid potential negative effects on memory and overall brain health. Glucocorticoids, such as prednisone and dexamethasone, are strong medications used to treat various conditions like asthma and arthritis. While they can be very effective, using them for a long time can affect your brain. 
These drugs can change cortisol levels, a stress hormone that, if too high, can damage neurons in the hippocampus. The hippocampus is the part of your brain that's essential for memory. Even inhaled corticosteroids like fluticasone, budesonide, and mometasone are considered safer but can still have negative effects if used in high doses or for long periods. Besides memory issues, long-term use of corticosteroids can lead to other problems like osteoporosis, diabetes, high blood pressure, and a greater chance of infections. To avoid these risks, it's important to use corticosteroids carefully. Your healthcare provider should monitor your use of these drugs closely, and you should be informed about possible side effects. It's best to use the lowest effective dose for the shortest time possible, and explore other treatments or lifestyle changes to reduce reliance on these medications. Four, benzodiazepines, the silent risk to memory. Benzodiazepines are medications often prescribed for anxiety and insomnia. These drugs, including alprazolam, diazepam, and lorazepam, are known for their calming effects and can quickly relieve anxiety. However, using them for a long time can have serious consequences for your brain health. Studies show that prolonged use of benzodiazepines is linked to memory loss and an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Research indicates that these medications might double the risk of Alzheimer's due to potential permanent brain damage. One study found that over 40% of people using benzodiazepines experienced neurological symptoms like trouble concentrating, lack of energy, and increased sensitivity to sensory input. Long-term use of benzodiazepines can also cause other problems such as sleep issues, ongoing anxiety, muscle pain, and weakness. Many people develop a physical and emotional dependence on these drugs, making it hard to stop using them. Although the exact way benzodiazepines contribute to Alzheimer's isn't fully understood, they may disrupt normal neurotransmitter functions, leading to structural and functional brain changes. Additionally, these drugs can affect your sleep cycle, which is important for consolidating memories. Because of these risks, it's crucial to use benzodiazepines carefully. Doctors should consider other treatments for anxiety and insomnia, like cognitive behavioral therapy or lifestyle changes. If benzodiazepines are necessary, they should be used for the shortest time possible and at the lowest effective dose. Being aware of these risks can help protect your brain health and promote safer use of these medications. 5. Amphetamines and the Memory Trap Amphetamines, such as Adderall, are commonly used to treat Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD. These medications are effective at improving concentration and reducing hyperactivity in the short term. However, using amphetamines for a long time can have serious side effects, including memory loss. Amphetamines work by boosting levels of neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain, which helps with focus and concentration. But long-term use can lead to problems such as physical and emotional dependence, sleep disturbances, irritability, and even depression. Memory loss is a significant concern with prolonged use of these drugs. Studies have shown that high doses over a long period can cause permanent brain damage, leading to lasting issues with memory and cognitive function. Another major risk is the potential for abuse and addiction. The stimulating effects of amphetamines can lead to misuse, causing severe complications like heart problems, digestive issues, and even sudden death. Psychological dependence can also be a challenge, making it hard for some people to stop using the medication even when they experience negative effects. 6. First-generation antihistamines. Relief today, problems tomorrow. First-generation antihistamines like chlorpheniramine and diphenhydramine are commonly used to treat allergy and cold symptoms. These medications can quickly relieve issues like congestion and itching. However, they come with a downside. Long-term use can harm memory and cognitive function. These antihistamines block histamine to reduce allergy symptoms, but they also have an anticholinergic effect. This means they block acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. Over time, this can lead to significant memory problems and other cognitive issues. Research has shown that using first-generation antihistamines for extended periods can increase the risk of dementia. A review of 138 studies found a strong link between prolonged use and cognitive disorders. People who use these medications regularly have reported memory issues and trouble concentrating, even after stopping the medication. 
Safer options are available, like second-generation antihistamines, such as loratadine and cetirizine. These newer drugs are less likely to affect cognitive function and are better for long-term allergy management. They effectively relieve symptoms without the same risks to brain health. In addition to memory problems, first-generation antihistamines can cause side effects like drowsiness, dry mouth, and blurred vision. These effects can greatly affect your quality of life, especially in older adults who are more sensitive to these medications. It's important to use these drugs under medical guidance and consider safer alternatives when possible. 7. Tricyclic Antidepressants – The Connection to Memory Loss a tricyclic antidepressants, including amitriptyline and nortriptyline, were among the first drugs used to treat depression. While they can be effective for relieving depression, they also have side effects that can affect memory and cognitive function. These antidepressants work by increasing levels of neurotransmitters like serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. However, they also have strong anticholinergic effects, meaning they block acetylcholine, which is essential for memory and learning. Long-term use of tricyclic antidepressants is linked to a higher risk of dementia and other cognitive problems. Studies show that people who use these medications regularly often experience a faster decline in cognitive abilities compared to those who do not. These drugs can lead to difficulties with concentration, confusion, and both short- and long-term memory loss. Elderly individuals are particularly at risk due to their increased sensitivity to anticholinergic effects. Today, there are safer alternatives to tricyclic antidepressants. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, such as fluoxetine and sertraline, are commonly used to treat depression and anxiety. These medications have fewer side effects and are not associated with memory problems. Besides affecting memory, tricyclic antidepressants can cause other issues like dry mouth, constipation, blurred vision, and weight gain. These side effects can negatively impact your quality of life and sometimes lead to stopping the medication. To reduce risks, it's important for doctors and patients to carefully discuss treatment options for depression. This includes considering the benefits and potential side effects of different medications. Tricyclic antidepressants should be used with caution, especially in older adults, and safer alternatives should be considered whenever possible. 8. Statins the Paradox of Cholesterol and Cognitive Function Statins are common medicines doctors give to people to lower their cholesterol and help prevent heart problems like heart attacks and strokes. Some well-known statins are atorvastatin and simvastatin. While these drugs are good at protecting our hearts, some research shows they might cause problems with our thinking and memory if used for a long time. Some people who take statins say they have trouble remembering things or feel confused. This doesn't happen to everyone, but for those who do experience it, it can be quite bothersome. Scientists think this might happen because statins could interfere with how our brains make and use cholesterol. You might be surprised, but our brains actually need some cholesterol to work properly, especially for forming connections between brain cells and helping us think clearly. When researchers looked at many studies about statins and brain function, they found mixed results. Some studies suggested that statins might actually help protect against dementia, which is a serious memory problem that often affects older people. But other studies found that statins might increase the risk of memory issues. Why the difference? Well, it could be because the studies looked at different groups of people, used different amounts of statins, or gave the medicine for different lengths of time. It's important to know that statins can cause other side effects too, not just memory problems. Some people get muscle pain or weakness, while others might have stomach issues. These side effects can make life less enjoyable for some people, and might even make them want to stop taking the medicine. To help avoid these problems, it's really important for patients to talk openly with their doctors about statins. They should discuss any possible side effects and keep a close eye on any changes in thinking or memory. If someone does have side effects, the doctor might be able to help by changing the amount of medicine or switching to a different type of statin. Doctors also encourage people to live a healthy lifestyle to help control their cholesterol. This means eating healthy foods and exercising regularly. By doing this, some people might be able to take less medicine or even avoid taking it altogether. The main point is that while statins can be very helpful for protecting our hearts, we need to be aware that they might affect our brains in some cases. By knowing this, patients and doctors can make better decisions about using these medicines.
This information about statins was part of a larger discussion about how different medicines can affect our brains and memory. The text mentioned several other types of drugs that might cause problems if used for a long time or without a doctor's advice. These include 1. Omeprazole, used for stomach acid problems. 2. Anticholinergics, used for various conditions like allergies or bladder issues. 3. Corticosteroids, used for inflammation and autoimmune diseases. 4. Benzodiazepines, used for anxiety and sleep problems. 5. Amphetamines, used for ADHD and some other conditions. 6. First-generation antihistamines, used for allergies. 7. Tricyclic antidepressants, used for depression and some pain conditions. The key message is that many common medicines, not just statins, can potentially harm our brains if we're not careful. This is especially true if people take medicines without talking to a doctor first, or if they use them for a long time. Remember, everyone's health needs are different. What works well for one person might not be the best choice for another. That's why it's so important to work closely with healthcare professionals who know your personal health history and can give advice tailored just for you. In the end, the goal is to find the right balance between treating health problems effectively and avoiding unnecessary risks to our brains and bodies. By staying informed, asking questions, and working closely with healthcare providers, we can all take better care of our health and enjoy a better quality of life.